it's the middle of the concert and your solo is coming up. Are you worried about that dreaded squeak like you had in rehearsal? Do you know if you have a leak or a torn pad? Have you ever looked closely at your pads for tears or cuts? Look right here at the middle of this pad and you can see the tear in the bladder skin. Band directors, clarinet players, you should know how to quickly change a pad in an emergency. First thing you're going to do is take off the key. Grab your torch and set it on low. Heat up the cup and use your pin vise to remove the pad. If you are careful, you can scrape off the glue and reuse it. Grab your new pad and with your pin vise, poke a small hole just under the cardboard backing, not in the felt. This is to vent the pad so it won't pop the bladder when it sets in the hot glue. Now, reheat that glue, spread it evenly, and drop in your new pad. Make sure you give it a little twist to make sure the glue is fully covering. Look at that gooey glue pull. It should look like a good cheese stick. That's how you know you have good coverage. Okay, now quickly grab your pad slick and iron that pad while it's still hot. Set it level in the cup and hold it until it cools. Next, we're going to put the keys back on. So now is a good time to like, follow, and repost this video. Show some love for your favorite instrument repair teacher. You can also subscribe to this channel for extra special tutorial videos. Now, grab your feeler gauge, slip it under the pad and into the tone hole. Check north, south, east, and west to see if you have a good seal. It's okay if you don't. You may have to reheat the cup and move the pad a little bit. Once that glue is remelted, use your fingers to quickly move that pad around just a little bit. Generally, I find on little trill keys like this, you can just open and close it a few times, and that'll help it seat all on its own. So grab that feeler gauge again and recheck re the north, east, south, and west with the feeler gauge. You want an even pull all the way around the pad on your gauge. Congratulations, you have just changed your pad.